Hi everyone. All right, so let's talk City and Gills. Now, City and Gills is a UK based organization that offers skill based training. So, you know, the vocational areas in our schools, like the industrial techniques, uh, woodwork, yeah, those. But they have recently partnered with uh, education ministries across the Caribbean regions to offer English language and mathematics. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about the math exam. Now the math exam is a 60 multiple choice only. Before you do the exam though, you'd have to do a diagnostic test. The diagnostic test will allow you now to be qualified for either stage one, two, or three. Now guys, under 15 will be stage 1 and the Jamaican government does not pay for stage 1. So if you want to sit this exam free, you'll have to try to score above 15 to sit either stage 2 or stage 3 of the exam. By the way guys, you will also sit a mock exam before you do the official exam. The diagnostic test and the mock exam is internal and the official exam is external. Alright, so let's check out a few questions from stage 2 and 3 papers. This question is from a stage 2 paper. Now as you can see, for questions like these, they will provide a formula to make calculation easier for you. So all you have to do now is to plug in your numbers in the formula. So. You plug in your radius, 3, and square it, you get 9. The answer there now is 1, 1, 3, 1, 1, 2. And to the nearest whole number, it's 1, 1, 3. All right, guys, so here we go again. They'll give you the conversions. They give you rate and so forth. So it makes calculation easier for you. You, you won't have any calculator to use. And so... You have to make sure you read questions at least twice so that you don't do the wrong calculation. Because you can easily look at this question and then multiply by 10, which would be incorrect. So look at the question carefully, read it more than one time, and then you calculate. So guys, since you won't have any calculator to work this, <clears throat> then you can use process of elimination. Because look now. The number is 4.5 something something. Now the 4.5 is what? 4.5. So see, say, let us round it off to 4.5. 2, 4.5 is 9. Right? So 9 liters alone is 2 gallons. If we should add another 4.5 to that, that will give us way over 10. So you know from that that the number of gallons cannot be more than three i wonder if you get me so you could use a process of process of elimination and then you'll realize okay it is not greater than three and the only thing there that is close to my estimation would be 2.2 .2. so you could do it like that All right, guys, so you'll definitely get some geometry questions. Nothing too hard on stage one and two. This is a uh, stage three question. And I mean, this is the artist it will get. So you just need to remember your basic properties, the angle properties, your lines, your solid shapes, your polygons. You just remember the basic properties for those. algebra so yes guys algebra will be there and of course you will be getting just the simplest of things so no in-depth algebra like quadratics and so on just the basic uh simple linear equations to solve or something to simplify or a substitution question so yes let's go consumer arithmetic so yes guys you'll see quite a few money questions 
and so you have to pay attention to your calculations in this area again just use number sense uh, do rough checks in your head and try the process of elimination take your time because you don't have any calculator so take your time double check your answer All right, guys, so here is an overview of the general information for the City and Guilds paper. So, yes, it is two hours to do 60 multiple choice questions. So, you have to use a black or blue ink pen for your answer, for your answer sheet. And no calculator. So guys, as you can see, the math city and gills will cover the basic strands in math. So you'll have numbers, geometry, algebra, measurement, and of course, statistics. For statistics, make sure you understand mean, mode, median, and range. You should be able to read from bar charts, histograph, um, line graphs, and uh, pie charts. All right, so let's take a look at these two statistics questions from a stage three paper. Okay, guys, I want to thank you so much for watching this video. And if you have any question, please comment below.